here again with Kraken Skulls, me and Bats. We had a chance to talk to you at the Crossroads Gun Show, right. but we're back to get a little more detail on exactly who he is and how he does this. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to anyone who hasn't seen the other interview. Okay. Uh, my name is Jim Pierce with Kraken Skulls Mayhem Bats. And we start, I, I started doing this um, a couple of years ago just in fun. Um, I work uh, Not Scary Farm, the infected zombie apocalypse for years. And we were able to carry, along with a sidearm or whatever, we could carry a Mayhem Bat. So being a big fan of Walking Dead, I bought a replica of the McFarlane Lucille bat and used to carry it, so it kind came of my uh, trademark. So I thought I'd make one myself, so I made one, made another one, and then the infamous pandemic hit. So stuck at home, what am I gonna do? So I started making some more, started using spikes, saw blades, lettuce cutters, uh, machetes, and it just went on and on, so. That's, uh, that's how it all started. And then uh, I ended up with about 20 bats. My wife asked me, what are you gonna do with all the bats? So I'm gonna take them to the gun show and see what happens. So I took it to Crossroads Gun Show and I was around two o'clock on the first day I was out of bats. No inventory, everything gone, so I didn't go back. <laughs> well, I mean, I can see why these are amazing. So take us through the process, like, from start to finish, and what's the inspiration for some of these? Because they're all different. Um, I basically, I have a, a company that makes, uh, spins bats, and I buy his blem bats. If they have a, a blemish in the wood or whatever, they end up setting them aside and sell them at a discounted price, and since it doesn't really matter because I'm not using them for baseball, I buy them from him 10 at a time. I might paint, I might stain, um, and it's just kind of, just there's no there's no real reason for one thing over another i did the barbed wire and then it looked so evil i thought what else could we do so we started trying different things um, for example this one here uh, my son was the purge for halloween uh, i think it's death where's the cross so i did it paint matched to match his mask uh, the black spikes and the white um, this here i had done some with a saw blade, like one saw blade this way or whatever, and I thought, what if I cut it in a few pieces and pieced it together? And so that came out pretty wicked. These are a major pain in the ass to build because you have to make sure that all three pieces of the bat line up or otherwise it looks a little wacky. And then, uh, of course, this one here, I've done a couple of red, white, and blue versions, but this one, this one takes the cake. Um, it's we my used favorite. <laughs> We used a real, I mean, an actual bat wrap uh, from a company called Vulcan. And uh, I made the stickers, the stars, and everything. So it's, uh, I'm a little bit of patriotic, I guess, myself. As am I. I love it. <laughs> so do you do custom pieces for any request uh, through Instagram, I'm assuming? Right. When I went out to uh, the gun show the first time, I had no... I had in, no social media or anything, so I started giving out my phone number. People started calling me, hey, can you do this? And actually, the ladies approached, uh, contacted me more and wanted to color match the paint scheme in their living room or uh, they wanted one for a gift for their husband. And so far, I've lucked out. There hasn't been any requests that I haven't been able to do. I built, I think, four for Valentine's Day presents. Well, that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> I'm going to come up with something, see if you can do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like I said, I've, I've so far so good. Um, but, yeah, I love a challenge. Well, then, here we go, Matt. <laughs> so which one has been your absolute favorite? I actually made one that... Uh, it was it took a, a saw blade that was actually had a crack in it so I drew a pattern on it and I gave it to a buddy of mine he cut it out and it, it, it just looked wicked and uh, I a lot of, some of them of course the barbed wire bats are named Lucille so that being my favorite bat I named that the Hades bat after my wife um, so I How sold sweet. <laughs> I had a bat named after me um, so <laughs> 
<laughs> so uh, I sold it, and uh, so I made another one. I had it cut, and it was all ready to go. And the night before last, bolting it together, um, one of the bolts got stuck. And anyway, I had to take a T nut out, and as I was pounding it back in, the blade just split in half. So now I have a a bat in there with a that's ready for another one, but we have to. I'm gonna have to have another one cut. But that was my favorite one, probably. Um, the number one selling bat is the simple barbed wire wrap bat because everybody identifies it with The Walking Dead, with Lucille, and uh, but I've probably sold more just standard barbed wire wrap bats than any of the other ones. Very nice. How about you show us some of the other bats? How do we do that? How do you want to do that? Well, you're just, just supposed to say, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's do that. All right. Let's go. <laughs> um, um, I'm, uh, I'm going to have you made some fun. Okay. You're going to have you made with who? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. So how many have you made so far? How many bats have I made? Yes. I'd say 20, 40. Probably about 80 bats. And I have 22 in stock right now. So if you see something you like on our latest posts, let me know. What's the average cost? They go anywhere from $80 to $150, depending on the hardware, the uh, how labor intense it is. Um, like I said, this one here, it just takes time to make sure that everything lines up. It, it doesn't look difficult, but um, it's a lot easier than, you know, something like this. Now this, of course, with the paint scheme, uh, I, the paint process takes a lot longer than stain. I can just stain a bat and I'm done, but the paint, got to paint it, sand it a little bit, knock down any rough spots or whatever, and yeah. reshoot it, make sure it's nice and kind smooth. Of a pain in the ass. A little bit, saying. yeah, okay. kind of. And, uh, and then, of course, I can add graphics. I have to use wood burning on the bats. Um, I'll do like Nordic symbols. We've got some guys that love the Viking stuff, so uh, I've done those. Um, I actually made one for a guy. He contacted me, and he wanted me to make a Lucille bat. And Lucille has a little, normally has a little oval right here. And he said, can you put bitch in the oval? And I said, I can do that. And I'm thinking, is this guy buying this for his wife? He bought it for his son. I didn't ask any questions. <laughs> I mean, I've got some pet names for my boys, but I can't say that that's one of them. Hey, son. I mean, yeah. bitch. bitch. Yeah. But what I did do is a few of the first ones I made that I kept, and I actually had people that wanted to buy them from me, and I didn't sell them, but I gave them uh, the last night of Infected, uh, the last year of it was 2019, and I gave uh, three bats away to my uh, to my haunt mentors, and uh, that was pretty cool. They they loved it. So those were one of the and those were some of the first ones I, I made, but they're in good hands. Did you ever really scare the absolute shit out of anyone? With at just at, at not scary farm. Like, uh, did you ever make anyone cry or anything like that? Actually, the infected uh, maze was pretty intense, and we used to have. Uh, the squad leaders, there were about 20 of us, and we wore headsets. And depending on if it was a drunk group or uncooperative, we would have special codes. And we actually had a thing called a code brown. <gasps> nice. And I can't it, imagine what that one stands It means for. exactly what you think it does. And uh, we had at least one to three probably every night. Sometimes the people came up to you to tell you, and they didn't even have to tell you because you could smell it. Well, that's, I mean, that's, that's fun. So a little fun fact about Not Scary Farm is that when I was married, my ex-husband and I, we used to go and he would put his hands on my shoulders and steer me through the mazes so that I would be the one to get scared first. Well, actually, it's He's a trick. He's a manly man, you know? But actually, it's a trick because the monsters know that whoever's... <laughs> First in line, they're the bravest. So what they'll do is they'll scare. Everybody. You don't want to be. You want to be first, or you want to be last. Anyone in the middle is up for grabs. See, so it worked out for me. So, are you ready to show us the rest of those bats? Let's go check them out.